A very good morning to all of you. Welcome to English class. In today's class, we will study Unit Seven. Name is verbs. So action words are action words or doing words are called verbs. As we have studied. So at page. Fifty-five worksheet two. You have read about the animal sounds. Now here we have animal sounds, and then we will fill in the blanks with the sounds of the animals. Now make the correct sentences and write them in the space provided below. So line the sound the sound made by line is roars, an owl hoots, a cat purrs, a duck quacks, a bee hums. A frog croaks, a sheep baas, a monkey chatters, a hen clucks, a mouse squeaks, a fly buzzes, a dog barks, a horse neighs, a wolf howls, a cow moos. So this worksheet we have done yesterday. What I am just repeating so that you can remember it easily. After that. Yesterday we have studied worksheet three as well, and it is about the story, the lion and the mouse. The those students who have not attended classes, they can listen carefully. <coughs> so here, what we are to do, we are to this is the sheet of the verbs. We will fill it with the forms of the verb. So let's see which form of the verb we will use here. All the stories are in past tense. Whenever we tell about something which is over, that is in past tense. Once a lion was asleep in a forest. A little mouse began running upon him. He he started jumping over his body. This disturbed the lion. The lion got angry. How are you? Or sorry, how dare you waken me? How dare you to waken me? This this is about. The lion and the mouse. Exactly, lion's sleep was disturbed, and uh, he was angry. He was about to eat it up. What? The mouse requested or pleaded that no, let me go. Don't kill me. I'll help you some day. So he roared and placed his huge huge means very big paw. This is called the paw of the lion upon the little mouse. He opened his big jaw. Jo to eat him. Now he was about to eat him. Please forgive me," said the mouse. "I'll help you some day." The lion laughed and allowed him to go. So this we have studied. Now you can check. We have used second form of the verb in these all blanks. Then worksheet four: supply suitable actions to uh, fill the words in the blanks. Now this exercise is also done by us yesterday. What just for repetition? Traffic jams are a common sight these days. Now again we will fill in the blanks with the verbs or action words. So now see how many action words we are to fill here. During the traffic jams, vehicles move. Three form action word: move, moved, moved. Ahead at the speed of the snail. Speed of snails. Trucks and buses block the roads. You can see the picture. Block the roads. The policemen on duty try try their best, but they fail to control the traffic. Traffic jams occur because people do not obey the traffic rules. During the traffic jams, one can hear the drivers shouting at each other. Traffic jams occur at any time of the day. For school children, traffic jam is a great boon because children have an excuse to reach the school late. Now, three forms of the verb which we are using. This is ismr. Ismr means be. Be was been. Move, move, moved, moved. This is regular verb. Then block, blocked. Blocked. Then try, tried, tried, fail, failed, failed. Obey, obeyed, obeyed. Hear, heard, heard. Then occur, occurred, occurred. 
reach, reached, reached. This is <clears throat> the next one is daily routine, and it's very interesting. And this is Alina's daily routine or timetable. So let's look at her timetable. At six, at half past six, she gets up. At half past seven, she goes to school. At quarter to eight, and at quarter to from quarter to eight to quarter to two, she attends school. And then from two to three p.m., she changes her clothes and she takes lunch. And from three to four p.m., she watches TV. Forms of the verb we will change when we will fill in the blanks accordingly. Sentence in proper tense we will write. So, okay, she watches TV, listens to the music. Then four four to five p.m., she plays. After five, that five to uh, half past seven, we study. She studies. And from half past seven to eight p.m., she takes the dog for a walk. Then from eight to eight thirty, eight thirty we don't say we say half past eight. She takes dinner. You can watch video on the time on YouTube. I have already uploaded, and you have also watched that already. It was taught to you. So kindly get into the habit of speaking time like this: half past eight. It is also half past eight. Half past, from half past eight to nine p.m., she walks, and then at nine, the time we use preposition at. So at nine p.m., she goes to bed. Now what we will do? We will fill the her daily routine in the blanks. Now on the basis of her her timetable, fill in suitable action words in the paragraph given below that her friend wrote about her. So Uh, we are talking. Our topic is verb, and verbs are action words or doing words. So we will use action words. Alina is able to do all her work well because she has made a timetable of herself. Students, our work is properly done when we have proper timetable. So it is mandatory to make timetable for our studies. She wakes up at half past. 6 a.m. every morning at half past 7 a.m. she goes to school she attends school from quarter to 8 to quarter to 2 p.m. she reaches back home at 2 p.m. she changes her clothes and she takes or she eats lunch between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. she watches tv or listen she listens it is listens not listening or listens to the music she plays from 4 pm to 5 pm she studies for 2 hours from half past 5 to half past 7 pm she takes her dog for a walk from half past 7 pm to 8 pm she eats dinner or instead of this you can write she takes dinner from 8 pm to Half past eight p.m. and at nine p.m. she goes to bed. Exactly, we have filled these words from the aid box, so we have not made any changes. Like uh, eat word, sorry, eat action we are using here. So this is already provided on the book. So from there we are using. And then next exercise. So read the following passages and put a slash. Where you find there is a mistake or missing word, the first one has been done for you. <clears throat> Here again, we will use action words, proper form of the verb. I teach alone at home. It is in past tense, so we will use was, not is. In present, we use is, is am, are. In past, we use was or were. So I singular, so with I we will use. Sorry, with I we use only was. So I was. Alone at home, I was watching TV when all of a sudden I heard the sound of footsteps foot, foot, foot outside. Means somebody was there. So here heard heard. My room. So outside my room, he heard the noise. Then I dash frightened. Then I got frightened. I dash to God. Here what verb can come? Whenever we are in danger, we pray to God. So I prayed to God that my parents should come home quickly 
suddenly someone now at the door at uh, means whenever any sound is coming that is uh, called knocking so someone knocked at the door so very quickly i dashed down on my bed now what happened if you are alone at home and you have latched the door so when you will hear the noise then you will think that some thief is there you so when but here the mother is there but okay let's read first of all i dashed down the down on my bed sat sit sat sat it is in past tense we are using past forms of the verb so uh, the knock was louder suddenly with with a sheet i dashed my face and with all my strength now what why we take a sheet on our face because we are afraid then we take sheet so he covered his this boy covered his face with the sheet i dashed my face with all my strength so covered and then i dashed loudly so now what he will not speak loudly that thief come and take me away he will say that okay uh, means he will cry so that anybody could help him so i cried loudly i heard someone saying now someone started uh, calling that open the door my child but my child when he heard the voice he came to know that mother is there so it was my mother knocking at the door then he took a sigh of relief he was happy that it is mother not a thief so this is all about today's class thank you have a nice day